Hey everyone and welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to create a listing template with the help of Jet Engine plugin. If you want to download this plugin, find the link in the description down below. Here is a listing that I have pre-designed before. And here is how the listing grid using this listing template looks in the Elementor editor. If you want to know how to create a listing grid with Jet Engine plugin, find a corresponding tutorial on our YouTube channel. Now we're gonna go ahead and create our listing template. I have six posts here and to create a listing template all I need is to go to Jet Engine plugin and go to listings. If you haven't created anything yet this list is gonna be empty but anyways you're gonna go ahead and hit the button add new. Here you're gonna set up the source uh, for which the listing item will be created. You can choose either posts or terms. The terms meaning the taxonomies. But we're gonna go with the posts. And I'm gonna create the listing template for my custom post type, which is called portfolio. But you can also create it for posts, pages, media, products, or any other your custom post type. Okay, and just press create listing item. And it takes you to Elementor editor right away. Here you see a totally blank template. And all you need to do is to scroll all the way down to see the number of widgets under the listing elements tab. These are the elements that you're gonna need to create a listing template. The listing template is gonna be applied to all the posts of a certain post type that you create this listing template for. So now I'm going to explain you what every single widget means and how to use it to create a listing template. We're going to start with the dynamic field to create a title of our post. So let's just drop it here. And here is our title. As you see, you can specify the source, the object field, whether it's data, content or excerpt but we, we need the title. Right now you can also add an icon, but we're not doing it now. You also have some profound settings. If you want to learn more about using these profound and more advanced settings, you can go to the documentation for Jet Engine plugin and you're going to find a detailed guide on how to use them. But now I'm going to show you what is hidden in the style tab. Here you can change the color of the text, and tweak the typography. I'm just gonna make the title a little bigger. Maybe change the style. You can also tweak the line height and the line spacing. You can align your content just like that. I want the title to be centered. And under the advanced tab, as usual, you have advanced settings where you can specify the margin and the padding. But now let's add the visual representation of our post, or in other words, a sort of a thumbnail. Now we will need a dynamic image. When you press on source, as you see, it can pull out the image either from a post thumbnail or from the meta field. In my case, I don't have any thumbnail, so I'm going to use the image that I have put in the media meta field. If you want to learn more about meta fields, find a tutorial on our YouTube channel. If you don't see your specific meta field that you are looking for, here in the drop down menu, you can manually type in the name of this meta field. Here you can specify the image size. I'm going to go with this one and align it th at the center. I can also link an image. And I can use the link from my post or from any of the meta fields that I have. Now if you go to the style, you can specify the border type. And you can tweak the width. And let's just do something like that to make it a little more interesting. You can also change the border radius, but I guess it looks better with the zero border radius. Okay, that's fine. And in the advanced tab, you have all the usual settings. 
Now, the next section is going to be divided in two, like that. And here I'm going to put a um, description of my post, like in this case. And here will be the link, the terms or the taxonomies, and the metadata. And also the dynamic link right under them. So let's get back to our Elementor editor. And now let's fill in these two sections with content. So as I've said, I'm going to use the description meta field. And I'm going to need a dynamic field. I just drop it here. And now I choose source as metadata. And meta field will be description. And it just pulled out the content, the text that it had in that specific meta field. I'm not going to use any icons in this case. And I'm pretty satisfied with the style, even though I can tweak the typography and style it just the way I want, but I prefer it this way. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. Now let's take care of this second section. As you remember, there was the dynamic meta, dynamic terms, and dynamic link. These are the widgets that we need to fill in this section. Let's start with the terms. And as you see here, you can specify from what taxonomy it's going to pull the information out. And I have the only taxonomy here. For every single post type, you will have the corresponding taxonomies that work with this specific post type. For my custom post type called portfolio, I only have the genre taxonomy. So I'm going to use this one. If you have way too many taxonomy items in your taxonomy, you may specify the number of terms to be shown. But I really don't have that many, so I'm just going to go with yes and show all the items. And now finally we're going to select an icon. And the icon will be brush. And here and here we can specify the alignment and the icon the size and the gap between the icon and the links and the color of the icon. But I'm going to go with black. Here you can tweak the behavior of these links. What happens when you hover over them and what happens when you don't. Here you can tweak the appearance of the delimiter. Just like that, I believe it looks a little better than it did. Okay, fine. Now let's go on and add some more widgets. Now, right under the terms, we're going to need one more meta field. Here I want to display the meta field, which is named link, where I have put the link to a certain Instagram user. Okay, let it be. And I'm going to choose an icon. It's going to say Instagram. And I can tweak the icon, make it a little bigger. And the gap just a little bigger. Here you see other style settings, the typography of the text, just the way you did with this meta field. And now we have one more left to put in this section, and it's going to be dynamic meta. So the meta by default, which is displayed here, is the date, author, and comments. But if you want to add some more specific information, you can do it by adding item. You can also change the layout from inline to list and back. You have also date settings when you can specify the format of the date to be shown, the author settings, and the comment settings. Now let's add a button that we had in our example. I'm going to grab a dynamic link widget and just drop it on a new section. As a source, I can use a permalink of my post or the 
information from the meta fields that I have created for this post type. In this case, I'm going to go with permalink. And I can also change the label. So now it says read more, but I'm going to type in see this post like that. I'm not going to use any icons and let's center it. Okay, let's go to the style. And now it doesn't really look like a button. So we can apply a background color. So I have grabbed the color that I have here on the border. Like that. And what I'm going to do is to change the color to white. So it is seen on the button. And the padding. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. And now I want to unlink it and make it 30 on the right and 30 on the left. So the margin will be like that. You can also specify the border, the border radius, box shadow, the icon position, but we don't really have an icon. Just like that. But here you have two more widgets that we haven't had a look at. This one is called a dynamic repeater. And as you see, it will process only the repeater meta fields created with the Jet Theme Core or ACF plugins. And the other widget is called List and Grid. If you want to know how to use this widget, go and find a tutorial on creating a list and grid with Jet Engine plugin on our YouTube channel. So here is how your list and template is gonna look on the front end. As you see, the list and template applies to every single post of your post type, and then you can display it in a list and grid. As I've said, if you want to learn how to create a list and grid, find a tutorial on our YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching, if you liked the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you the next time.